Good evening, coming up towards 11.30 on the 23rd of May, 2023, the Tuesday evening midnight oil burning session. I'm Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We're monitoring a line of showers and thunderstorms moving east-southeast at about 25 to 40 miles an hour across northwest Texas. The big country, western north Texas, the Concho Valley progressing towards portions of north Texas and the hill country over the next few hours. The strongest of these storms over the last 30 to 45 minutes have produced winds up to 70 miles an hour, dime to quarter size hail, lots of localized heavy rainfall, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning. As we go through the night, those hazards are going to remain the same. Not all storms are going to be severe. The overall severe weather threat will remain relatively steady state or slowly declined over the next several hours as these storms continue moving southeast. But these storms will likely make it all the way to the coast by about 10 a.m. Wednesday and the upper Texas and middle Texas coasts. So again, strongest storms, 70 mile an hour winds, small to pocket change size hail, bunch of cloud to ground lightning heavy rain can't totally rule out a brief tornado and these storms will continue moving east southeast 25 to 30 to 35 to 40 miles an hour so we take a look at the high-rise rapid refresh model looks like we're going to see these storms roll on into the dfw metroplex generally between about 2 and 4 a.m I-35 in Central Texas, Waco down to Austin, probably closer 3, 5, 6 a.m. for the morning rush hour commute, I'm sorry. And then thereafter, the Brazos Valley into portions of Southeast Texas between about 4 or 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. before storms move off the coast, maybe in parts of the coastal plains. Overall, severe weather threat could continue in at least a localized fashion after 2 a.m., but most storms will hopefully be at least behaving themselves to the point where we're not going to have a bunch of widespread storms strong the damaging winds but again some folks are going to get woken up overnight by strong wind lots of cloud to ground lightning heavy rainfall maybe some small hail the overall tornado threat very very low but not completely zero you can keep an eye on the sky with us here at the texas storm chasers using our free interactive weather radar available in the free texas storm chasers mobile app available in the apple app and google play stores we'll be keeping an eye on things with you all tonight have a good one